Hi, welcome to Stanley Creates. My name is Lauren Linehan, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do some paper marbling with things that you should have around the house. Paper marbling is a wonderful way to create really beautiful decorative paper. This process is a little bit messy, so I just wanna give you a word of warning that you will need if you can, if you can work next to a sink, that's ideal. If not, just make sure that you have some sort of um, surface protectant. I have a garbage bag right over here. Um, the materials that we're going to be using today is we have our pan, just a shallow pan, nothing too, nothing too serious. You could probably even use a paper plate if you wanted to, probably a plasticky paper plate. We have some dish soap in a little container here. We're gonna be using different colors of food coloring. I have a couple of Q-tips here. One Q-tip I've cut the end off of. We'll be using that as a stir stick. And then I have some good old printer paper that I've cut in half just because it fits the size of my pan just a little bit better. And I have some baby oil. You can use cooking oil. I prefer baby oil because it just smells so much nicer. Uh, cooking oil does give your, your prints, your, your decorative paper, just a little bit of a yellow tinge, just a little uh, yellow hue to it. But I, I don't think it makes it look bad or anything. I think it actually kind of adds a little bit to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this paper marbling process first, and then I will show you what you can do with your marbled paper to jazz it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my baby oil and I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom of my tray here. And I'm going to make sure that my the whole bottom of the tray gets the oil that's covering all parts of it. You don't want too much oil because your water your food coloring will actually sink through the oil. So you just want to just a fine layer there. Then what you're going to do is I'm going to take my favorite color, which is blue. I don't know if you can guess that about me. I have green hair and I'm wearing a blue outfit. I'm gonna take my favorite color blue and I'm just gonna dab it. I'm just gonna throw some dots in there. I'm just gonna put some dots in the oil. Doesn't look like anything too exciting is happening yet. They look just kind of, you know, lonely there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your Q-tips and you're going to dip it in your dish soap. I like to get a good amount on there. Just, I don't know, just it makes me feel better. And then what you're going to do is you're going to touch your Q-tip in each dot. So you're going to tap each dot with a little bit of dish soap with the Q-tip and you might have to hit it twice. But what you're going to see is you're going to see it start to spread out just like that. You can, it kind of makes a, a tie-dye effect, doesn't it? It's kind of interesting. Maybe I can get more to do there. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to take a paper towel here. I'm going to put it... Whoop, I'm going to put it down and I'm going to put my my soap q-tip right over here on this paper towel and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the q-tip that I cut the one end off of and I'm going to use this as a stir stick so I'm going to put it right in my oil and food coloring and stir it around like so That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm liking how this is going out. That's how it's turning out. So I'm gonna take my stir stick and put it on the paper towel as well. Food coloring does stain your countertops and your clothes, so just make sure that you're very, very careful. Your hands are gonna get covered in oil, just so you know. <laughs> but what you're gonna do now, is I'm gonna take my printer paper and I'm going to create a U shape. So I'm gonna take my U shape and I'm gonna Put it face down into my paper, into my ink and my oil. So I'm going to take my U shape and take it and press it down into my oil. 
My paper is a little bit too thick or too wide on the sides, but I, I'm okay with that because that leaves me a good spot to keep my hands clean. You're gonna get a little bit of extra oil on the paper, so make sure you tap it off. This is where it gets messy, so just make sure you're being, being very mindful. And then let's flip it over and see what kind of design we got. That is pretty. That turned out really well. So there you have it. You have a really nice marbled paper. This can, after it dries, I would say give it about a good 30 minutes. You can um, blot it dry with some paper towels. I would give it just a minute before you start doing that because sometimes the, the food coloring will sit on top of it and then you'll lose some of that interesting decoration if you, if you blot it dry too quickly. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it over on your, your safe place, your clean spot, your garbage bag. That's what I'm using. Let's do another one. And so I already have some food color, food coloring in my pan. It's already, it's blue and I'm not, I'm not too upset about it. If you do get upset with the amount of food coloring that you have in your pan, it's easy enough. You can just go to the sink and wash it out and start over with some new oil and some new color. If you get too many colors in your pan, so if I put a yellow in here, it would kind of turn everything a little bit dark brown or almost black. So you want to make sure that you're, if you if you have one that comes out kind of not how you were wanting it to, that's okay. You can just do another one. So I'm just going to, I don't need to even add any more ba uh, baby oil. I'm just going to go in with some, I think I might do some green. So I'm going to add some green food coloring to this, this color bath that I have going on here. I'm going to add just a few drops, maybe a few more than I did last time. Okay, did quite a few. I'm going to take my Q-tip. I'm going to use the same side just because blue and green are pretty close in color and hue, so I, I'm okay if they mix. They're going to mix anyways. And so I'm going to go in and touch each little green spot. They're a little bit slow to react. That is okay. If I need to go in with more soap, I will. Let us see what happens. And so I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna take my stir stick again, and I'm gonna put it right in there and do some stirring. I think I'm gonna to try to spread it out just a little bit. Let's see. My pan is filling up a lot with a lot of color. So I think I'm gonna put my paper in right now. I don't want it to be all green. I want there to be a little bit of, um, um, I want you to be able to see a little bit of definition, a little bit of lines in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my paper in right now. Remember to do the U shape. I'm not gonna go all the way to the edges because I like having a clean edge of the paper that I can grab onto. You can kind of see some of the, the food coloring marbling on the back of the paper as well, which is super cool. So I'm gonna take it, I'm going to tap it off like this and then let's turn it around and see what we got the lighting in here isn't the best but it's quite pretty there's a lot of different um, swirls and things and darks and lights of the greens it looks really pretty and I think when I make this into um, what I'm gonna make it into, and I'll show you just a second. I think it'll work out really nicely. So I'm gonna quick clean up my space, which I would suggest doing after you were done with the, the um, paper marbling portion of this project. I would quick clean up just so your space is clean and ready to, to um, be used for a different, different part of the project. So I'm going to clean up my space real quick and I will be right back. 
Now that my space is all cleaned up, I have my my um, marbled paper right here. I went ahead and let me turn the light on quick. There we go. I went ahead and dried them off with some paper towels. Just be careful when you're doing that so that you don't rip your paper. But I'm going to put these over here for right now because we do not need them quite this minute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make a small accordion book out of the marble paper that you just made. So what you need for this process is um, I'm just going to be using printer paper, just the same print, uh, printer paper that I used with this piece and this one here, but I'm going to use a whole piece of printer paper. So what I'm going to do, or what you're going to do is, I've already marked it up, so <laughs> don't worry about this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of printer paper, you're going to fold it in half, like this, once like that, then you're going to fold it in half this way, like that, and then you're going to fold it in half again. So you're folding your paper in half three different times, and so you're going to have a nice little rectangle here. You're going to open it up. And you don't have to draw on it like I did. I just wanted to make sure that you could see what I was talking about. So each line here represents a fold in the paper, okay? So I have this dotted line here to show you where you're going to cut. So you're just gonna take one cut down the center of your paper, stopping right here though. You don't wanna cut all the way across your paper. You just want to cut from this point down here up to this point here. So that's what I'm, what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab this piece of paper. I'm just going to go ahead and cut right on that dotted line. But I'm going to make sure that I don't go past that mark. So it kind of created legs. <laughs> it kind of looks like I created legs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the accordion book now. So what I'm going to do is this is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to, it's like when you're folding a fan, you go over, you know, you, you, you alternate your folds. And so I'm going to take this fold here and I'm going to bring it over like that, just like that. And it should work in your, it should work that way. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pick my paper up like this. It's going to be a little bit tricky to see, but you have this piece right here. You're going to fold that behind. So now you have an L shape. Then you're going to fold that over just like that. And then now you can go ahead and start doing the same folding routine for a fan that you would normally do. So some of your folds might need to be refolded. So let's do that one more time. So I'm going to open my paper back up just like this. So I'm going to take my first fold here, this rectangle, and I'm going to fold it all the way over here just like that. I'm going to fold it underneath like that over that way and then this way this way and then this way so when you open it you've created this interesting accordion book okay so now that we folded our paper and we've made our accordion book obviously yours isn't going to have the lines on it unless you want that you can go ahead and do that but we have our accordion book like this and so then now what we're going to do is we're going to take our marbled paper and create a front cover and a back cover and then it's super simple you only need some scissors and you shouldn't need any glue of any kind so what we're going to do is i'm going to take my i'm going to select one side here this is going to be my front cover so i'm going to lay it out like this and then I'm going to lay my paper down like this right here. So the, the, the decorative side is this side, and I'm going to lay it flat down on my piece or on my table. I'm going to take my accordion book, and I'm just going to place 
the this line, this fold right on the edge of my, my marbled paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I might actually use a Sharpie. If you have a pencil or anything around you, I would probably use that. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark that I'm going to cut right here. I'm going to go cut across, and then I'm going to cut across right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove my paper, and I'm going to cut my paper down to fit my book a little bit better. Just like that. And while I'm at it, I might as well do the other one too, where you can just line up your other piece of paper and just cut the edges off like that as well. So you're using your first piece of paper as a stencil, basically, as a template for your other piece of paper. Just like this. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is my paper is still face down like this. I'm going to take my, my book again, the first page of my book. I'm going to line up the edge of my fold. So I'm going to line up this fold right here with the edge of my marbled paper. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the marbled paper down. So I'm folding it over the edge of my book paper. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom, just like that. So you're going to you're creating a little sleeve right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let me see. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut here to here like a triangle. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to cut this corner off right there, and then I'm going to cut this corner off right there. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull my book out just so I don't cut it. And I'm going to cut along these lines right here, just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not, it's not straight or anything like that, but it doesn't, like I said, it does not have to be perfect. So then I'm going to put this back on my book. I'm going to slide my front page right back in there. This might actually be the back page the way I'm doing it, but um, I'm going to slide it right back in there. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this right over the edge like that as well. And then the fun part here is you can take, if these bug you, you can go ahead and just slice those off, just cut those off. It's going to bug me, I can already tell, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your your paper and kind of fit it underneath just like that. And so then now if you now you have a cover to your book actually I think I did the back cover. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna flip it around. I'm just gonna flip it around. I did it backwards. But the the cool thing is like you don't have to glue anything and so you just you can just flip it around if you need to. I'm just going to do that quick, just like that. So now you have a cover to your book, just like that. And so I'm going to show you the, the back one just one more time, just so you can get an idea of what I did again. So I'm going to take my, my back cover, my back marble paper, I'm going to flip it upside down like that. So the, the top of it is facing down towards the table. I'm going to take my my book paper line this edge of the fold up to the edge of my actual paper i'm going to fold it over just like that and just like that 
And then I'm going to cut these extra pieces off at an angle. And so I should probably mark it, but I'm just gonna go for it. Don't do as I do, make sure that you mark it. Because if you, if you mess up, then it might be a little bit trickier to get started back up again. You just have to marble another piece of paper. But, and then I'm gonna cut these extra things off right here, because I know that they're gonna bother me. Just like that. And then now you're going to take your paper, this edge here, and you're gonna fold it inwards like that. You can leave it like that, keep it kind of like a nice little thing, like a nice little um, folder almost, or you can tuck it in. I think I might leave this one like this. Let's see how we did. I once again did it on the other side, so I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over and tuck it in right here. So now I have my front cover and my back cover to a really interesting ma par uh, paper marbled little accordion book. You can use this as a sketchbook. You can have it as like an idea book. You can keep things inside here if you'd like to however you wanna do it. If you wanna put some tape right here just to make sure that it stays taped down and nice, that is up to you. I hope that you enjoyed your time with me today on Stanley Creates, and I hope that you enjoy paper marbling and or if you want to, I'm not gonna force you to do this, but if you wanna do the accordion book, I really hope you enjoy doing that as well. Thank you and have a wonderful day.